Welcome back to the uh, Red Dead Redemption. My name is ATK. I suck at these intros. Um, yes. Hello there. Oh, no, that's a dog. We're about to go meet up with Bonnie. Let's go check it out. Obstacles in our path. Hey, me, it's Bonnie. Oh, Mr. Marston. Flavor How are you stomping. doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you <laughs> got that Bill so Williamson or what you wanted from <laughs> No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. Long story. By telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but oh, I saw you get no on the train man. at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. <laughs> All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Come on, boy. Let's go, Mies. Yeah. Uh -huh. On the count of three. Three, three, two, three, one, two, go! One. I trust you you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Yeah! Yeah! You're lucky I'm being a gentleman! Try to keep up, will you? Uh-uh. This sure beats milk and cows! Come on! Any day, screw milk and cows. Come on! Call yourself a dangerous oh, outlaw? Jump. Can't jump, miss, miss. I thought you said you could ride! Oh, yeah! Now. And I hate when he does that stuff. I suck at racing. Yeah. Come on! You got problems with your spurs? <coughs> Come! I can't get to shoot your horse. Oh so, my God. Neck and neck, Miss McFarland! Go! Don't you? 
Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Try to stay with me now! That was fun. Sure. <laughs> you know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. <clears throat> Ugh. Long day after he's got done racing. Okay. <clears throat> Think I'll do one more body mission, and then I'll do this one more body mission. See how long it's gonna be. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. Oh, it wouldn't Christ. do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Come on. See it. You want me? Um, um, get up on the freaking. There we go. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. <coughs> I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's really... Put that down! I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. <coughs> it's nope. not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. Oh, this I'm is not, miss. Yes, you so. are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify <laughs> that gibberish with lose, a response. No matter what. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you <laughs> must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. Oh, stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Come on. Oh, uh, it's cold beef. You made some cold beef. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's sorry. looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. So sorry, well, please. he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Uh, don't you so dare So this is shoot Armadillo. Me. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. The most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Oh, that's a dude. Oh, hi, horse. And you just go through the thing. Tell me something I don't know. 
My I hope he stops doing that. Alright, who's shooting me? Who is shooting me? Who do not want to mess with John Marston? How would Armadillo get by hey, without me? Hey, mister. Yeah, I'm Finally come medicine. to get that bullet out your leg. Thank you very much. Alright, the bunny at the bad that. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. <clears throat> Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. <laughs> True. Touche. Oh, there's some bicycles over there. That old school bicycles. Oh, no, it's the... Loading and loading behind me. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. And I was. Okay, nope, never mind. I'm getting shot at. I'm gonna shoot the guy. Boy. Boy. What are you shooting at? Why are the cops on me? Make you wish you never been because born. Because I ran over the one dude. There is medicine in your satchel. Slip in by pressing A. What the fuck's my satchel? Um. Satchel. Fix my satchel. I don't know what my satchel is. Any of you guys know, um, tell me in the comments or whatever. But yeah, why was I getting shot by cops? Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here, and I'll catch you in the next one.